So I remember when I first started filmmaking, my number one goal was to make my films look cinematic. And I struggled early on figuring out how to really do that and how to make things just look really crisp, look really clean, have that depth of field and look amazing. Now, if there was one lens that I think is the best lens to make your films look cinematic, it's this one right here the 35 millimeter prime. Uh, currently, the lens I'm talking about right here, it's the Sony 35 millimeter F1.8. And that's what I've been using recently. But really, I wanna include all lenses, all 35 millimeter primes. Now, why do I think that this lens is the best lens for cinematic filmmaking? I'm gonna give you some reasons right here. Number one, this lens is so versatile. You can also get those wide shots that you need, but you also can get those nice portrait looking shots that I feel like really separate your films and make them look differently. Often if you're on like a 24 millimeter prime or if you're on like a 50 millimeter prime, the 24 millimeter is a little bit too wide and then you get kind of warping on the edges sometimes. Now the 50 millimeter is so great and I recommend everyone to get this lens but sometimes it's a little bit too tight and you can't get wide enough. So that's why often in many cases, if I'm just like rolling with one lens only, it's gonna be this 35 millimeter lens. And there are some times that I film whole entire videos with this single lens right here and it's looked amazing. The second reason why I think it's so great is that you can achieve that portrait look that you want, that depth of field that you're wanting from a lens from this 35 millimeter prime. And you know, you could have a 24 to 35 millimeter like this one right here. Like if I zoom in, I'm at 35 millimeters. But if you had it at f1.8 and not f2.8, like this lens right here, you'd probably be able to achieve more depth of field. It would just look cooler. There'd be just a different quality from the lens that you just don't get with a zoom lens like a 16 to 35 or a 24 that to 70 millimeter lens. That's why the prime lens is so nice. And like leading straight into the third reason why I think the 35 millimeter prime is perfect for cinematic filmmaking is you just get a different kind of clarity from a prime lens. It's nothing like a zoom lens. It's nothing like a uh, anything else. It's so crisp, it's so clean. It just looks different. It stands out above the rest whenever you're putting uh, this lens on your camera. You know, one thing that I do is sometimes I film these CrossFit competitions and I'll be on a gimbal and instead put a, and, and instead of putting on a zoom lens like a 16 to 35, you get those wide shots that, you know, everyone talks about or that you need is I'll put just this 35 millimeter prime on and roll around for a whole three days shooting a CrossFit competition and it looks so good, it looks so cool. You're able to get just so many different variety of shots and it just makes things stand out above the rest. The next reason why I love this lens so much is it brings a certain natural feel to your films. It just makes you feel like you're there and you're just a part of the scene. You know, it's not, I guess, too often crazy why some of the, the best you know, film photographers, best street photographers out there, often all they do is roll around with a 35 millimeter lens on their camera. And even just like this camera right here, this uh, camera that a lot of people talk about, the Fuji, this is the X100F. It's a fixed focal length, and that focal length is a fixed 35 millimeter lens. I think that there's a reason why people always just choose this 35 millimeter lens to be on their cameras is because there's just something so great about how it makes you feel in a film. So there's so many reasons why I think this lens is awesome. You know, going back through the natural feel that you get from this lens, the depth of feel that you get from this prime lens, you know, the versatility that you have in your shots whenever this is on your camera. I mean, there's so many reasons and so many things. And you know, if you're a new filmmaker or you're someone that is just starting out, if I were to recommend one lens, it's gonna be this 35 millimeter prime. It's something that creates beautiful photos and you're just able to get so many things with one lens. So that's what I think is the best lens for cinematic filmmaking. 
Do you think that there's a better lens? I mean, what do you think? Is there something else that I'm missing that maybe you have an opinion on? I would love to hear it in the comments. Again, this is a channel that is here to just absorb all feedback and all information. This is my opinion on my past, you know, seven to eight years of filmmaking and i've done primarily on a lens like this a 35 millimeter prime so again thank you so much for watching this video i really appreciate it i truly do and subscribe like this video comment below if you think this is the best lens for cinematic filmmaking i would love to hear your opinion all right peace out